Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to be covering automation with Inside Photoshop. Uh, so many times we, we do the same tasks over and over and over again, especially when we have a batch process that we're going to do the same things over and over to different images. Uh, so here I was working on some images today, and these are some images uh, in Yosemite. Uh, there's Half Dome, and uh, there's another one in Yosemite, and there's one from the uh, uh, Canyonlands, Meza Arch. And uh, I'm putting together a collection of the American West. And uh, so I'm working and I'm editing, you know, each photo individually. And then I want to put them out into an output for fine art prints. And the process for doing that for me is the exact same steps over and over and over again. So if I was going to take this image of Meza Arch, I would turn around and say, okay, first thing I need to do is I need to adjust it to the printer that I'm going to. Now I happen to know that the service I use for my prints uh, is a little bit on the dark side when it compared to the print. So I'm going to use a brightness and contrast, and I'm just going to increase the contrast by 10. Okay, I do this for every single image that I send out for printing. That little bit of bright brightness corrects the differences between their printers and my print. Uh, the next thing I do is I'm going to run a high pass uh, sharpening on this fill, for, thing for print. And again, it's exactly the same settings and doesn't matter on the image. I use the exact same amount of sharpening for fine art photos. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, flatten the image. Okay, so now that I've done my brightness, I've done that, I've flattened my image, I'm going to command and control J to duplicate the, the layer. Okay, so now I'm on the duplicate layer, I'm then going to go up to filter, and then I'm going to go to other, high pass, and then I'm going to set my high pass to 0.4. Okay, 0.4. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to D, D, D. Where are you? I'm looking for linear light. There we go. Linear light. And so I don't know if you could see that or not, but that's just the right amount of sharpening for printing. Now these are settings that are specifically for prints. Okay, it's not for, for, for the web. Uh, and uh, so now I would complete that. My last step would be to go in and uh, go up to file and then, uh, you know, come out and save it as a JPEG and put it out at 100% and be done, right? Okay, so that's the process that I would do. Now, I would do all those steps on one image. Then I have to come over and do the exact same steps on this image. And then the exact same steps on this image. Okay. So, that is repetitive. And there's no creativity involved. It's just routine repeating and processes. So, I'm resetting the image here by going to my history. All right. And so now... This would be perfect for me to automate. And so this way I could just run an action that I could repeat on every image without having me do all those steps. So if you're not familiar with actions, uh, they're usually up in the panel here, signified by the play button. If you're not seeing it, uh, come up to window and look for actions and select it. And that'll open up the action panel for you. Okay. All right. So. Actions is nothing more than a fancy term for recording what you do. In other words, once I say start recording, Photoshop is going to watch every mouse stroke, every click, every movement I do, and it's going to record it, and then it's so that it can be repeated. So, first things first, I come up to the plus sign here, and I hit that for a new action. I'm going to call this one 
Fine art. Boy, I can't spell today, huh? Print. And it's very specific, so, uh, you know, you could make one for just about anything if you want to have a routine that you do the same steps over. For this, it's for fine art printing for me. All right, so I hit record. I could put a color code to it. I could color code it red. So there. Okay, boom. So now we're, we're signifying on the record button. We are recording. So absolutely anything I do is going to be recorded by Photoshop until I say stop recording. All right. So first step, what did we do? Well, we added a brightness and contrast layer. Okay. So let's do that. And then I brightened it up by 10. That was the first step I did, right? So then the next step I did was to uh, uh, flatten the image. So we'll do that. Okay, so now we flatten the image. We apply the brightness. We put a flat. We flatten an image. Now we need to duplicate the layer. Okay, then I'm going to come up and I'm going to go on to filter. And I'm going to go to other, high pass, and then a 0.4 pixel. I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to linear light. And so now that's applied. The last thing I need to do is save as a JPEG. Okay, so for the output. So I could turn around and flatten the image again. All right, so now it's sharpened, it's ready to go. I go up to file and save as a copy. And I can come up and say, okay, I want it to be a JPEG. And I want it to go in my pictures and exported pictures. I have a folder called exported pictures. So I want it to go to there. And I then hit save. It'll ask me for the quality. I set my quality at 12. I hit OK. All right. So now I'm done as far as I'm concerned. OK. But I'm still recording. As you can see, we're still recording. Now, wouldn't it be nice if this also closed the image for us right at the end? So let's give it the close command. OK. So there's close. So I'm going ahead, stop it here. And now this action is recorded and done. Now we can open up here and see every single step that we did is here. All the settings, everything we did, okay? So we made an adjustment layer. We set, it was a brightness contrast. We set the brightness to plus 10. We did a high pass. We did a radius of 0.4. We did a linear night uh, light uh, blend mode change. We flattened the image. We went to save as. We said JPEG quality 12. Uh, all this copy and then finally close the image. End of game. Okay, so now we have this recorded. So this fine art, okay, we have here is ready to rock and roll on any of our additional images we want going into the future. Now, a nice thing, what I like to do in the Actions panel is I like to convert it to uh, button mode. So you hit the little hamburger menu here, and you hit button mode right here, and that turns your uh, actions that you've created into buttons. And if you remember, I color-coded red the fine art. So there it is at the bottom. So if I click that, it's a button, and it's going to run that action. All those steps, all the layers, all the blend modes, all the changes, save it, put it in the right location all wonderfully done automatic now there's only one thing we have to correct and that is we don't want every image saved with the same name okay so if we run this action it's going to save every image the exact same name as we did here okay we want it to turn around and have it ask what we want it to have saved as okay if we do so right next to the save command, okay, there's a little box. Just check that. 
And that signifies we're telling Photoshop, hey, when you get to this step, I want you to stop a second and let the user make a decision on the dialog box. Okay, that's all it is. So there we go. We've got that all done. I'm going to bring back the, the hamburger bun here and I'm going to bring up my button mode. And now I'm going to run this image. So let's see here. Here's the, oh, the image we had. And so let's, uh, let's run it. Ready? Boom. Everything we did has already been done. Now it says, is this what you want it to be named? And it's going to go to the exported pics. I go, yep. It says 812, good. And we're on to the next one. It closed the image and we're on to the next one. Okay, let's do this one. And it's going to run through all the steps. Go to the thing and boom. There it is. Okay, so all that has now been automated. And I can use these on any images at all. All right. Just to show you here, I'll open up another image. Here's another image. I open it up into Photoshop and I say, okay, I'm done editing this one. And I want to uh, do the same thing. Fine art print. Click. And again, all those steps are repeated. And bingo, bango. All my sharpening, my high pass, my con increasing the uh, brightness by 10. All of those things have been automated now by a click of a button. And so it's invaluable. Uh, it'll save you time. And you can build up a whole bunch of collections of actions that suit your need and your workflow. So I highly recommend you try it out. All right. Till next week, you guys take care.